Hey guys, Andy here with another head to head and this is my outgoing daily against my incoming daily. So on the left we've got the Pixel XL running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 chipset, a quad core CPU uh, with two at 2.15 gigahertz and two at 1.6 gigahertz, the Adreno 530 GPU and four gig of RAM. On the right is the Pixel 2 XL with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, an octa-core CPU, four cores at 2.35 GHz and four cores at 1.9 GHz, the Adreno 540 GPU, and four GB of RAM as well. So the 2XL with quite an advantage in a few different places there. Let's see how they get on. We're moving along already to the fingerprint sensor test. Um, the Pixel 2XL reportedly has one of the fastest there is and you can see it is just quicker than the Pixel XL there. Um, not, a, not a massive amount, but each time clearly is the first screen to light up. So the uh, the 2 takes an early 1-0 lead. Uh, not a massively relevant test, but I thought, you know, I'm going to try a reboot test because actually I'm just surprised how quick they both are, in, even to the point that I'm not going to edit through the reboot. I'm just going to waffle a little bit until they come back. So the Pixel XL is the first with the boot screen, but you will see the Pixel 2 is going to be the first to post, there we go, to the lock screen. And I think that's actually very quick for a full reboot, very quick. But we will move on, and you can see here I'm in the app switcher, so I've closed, I've killed all of the wraps, and I'm going to try and press the uh, Angry Birds 2 logo at the same time. And we see the Pixel 2, as you would probably expect, because it does have the better specs. They've both got the same RAM, but the, the faster CPU and GPU in the Pixel 2 XL shows that's, a, that's pretty quick in opening Angry Birds 2. So I'm going to kill them both. We'll do it once more just to check, but I will edit through this one. And we will see the Pixel 2 again. I like to do it a second time just to check like if they sort of warm up a little bit or anything like that, does, does one get throttled, but clearly neither of them did, I don't think. And we're going to go straight into the benchmark, which again, I know some people will say no use at all, but I still think it's a reasonable way just to check the raw power of the phone. And again, I'll edit through there, yeah, there's a smooth leap. 5.2 against 6.7, so quite a gap. Interestingly, the single core, not so much difference, but obviously the Pixel 2 XL does have twice the amount of cores in total. So we're actually outside now for the GPS test. I'm going to reset the AGPS tape, come out as quick as I can, and then we'll go back in, hopefully at the same time. And they both locked very quick. I mean, the two did lock twice as many satellites on that first instant grab. But interestingly, the XL has a higher accuracy initially. Um, it does drop down a bit there, but I don't, I mean, that's a, that's a tie, I would say, really. Moving on to the speaker test, the stereo speakers on the Pixel 2 XL being one of its selling points. How much difference do we hear, though? Then on to a little bit of podcast, just to see how that sounds. 
at, into an electrical signal. We, we convert it from a digital file into some kind of analog representation of that. A di- Go player to, to judge this, but apparently AlphaGo plays in an artistic fashion that is even innovative that, that mm-hmm. Master Go players... Digital to analog conversion, or a DAC. And then that electrical signal is... Uh, like the uh, world champion that it beat uh, last year or earlier this year, I guess, um, say this is this is giving us new ideas. Well, I don't think there's actually as much between them as you might imagine. The Pixel XL actually has slightly more volume, but the Pixel 2 XL does sound a little bit better, a little bit more bass to it. We're uh, moving on now to the screen brightness test. So adaptive brightness is off. Brightness is cranked all up to 100%, and we have a white screen to measure the uh, looks or the lumens. I think it's the same thing. So the original Pixel XL generally in the 700s the pixel 2 xl generally in the 600s and obviously there are other factors with the uh, pixel 2 xl screen that you may have i've done a whole video on it if you want to know more about it go and see that with the blue tint and all that kind of uh, stuff so the pixel xl does have uh, the brighter screen there's no arguing about that on to the final test which is a browser test. I'm clearing both cookies. I'll just skip ahead because <laughs> the Pixel XL being my daily did have quite a lot of quite a lot of cache to clear. So the 2XL was quicker. They were both very quick. But I think you can see there the 2XL is just a little bit faster. And actually on this particular one it seems to have uh, quite, a, quite a significant win. The Pixel XL is still loading. And finally it's there. And then we go to the Verge, the final one, which again, they're both very quick, but the Pixel 2 XL has snatched it. So I don't think there's that much between them, really. Um, when you think about the uh, the prices involved, the Pixel 2 XL being £800, I think you can get the Pixel XL new for sort of 400 I've got to say, the Pixel XL is a, it's, it's a good option, basically, depending on your budget. I do think the 2 XL is the slightly better phone overall, but it is only slightly better and it's twice as much. So the call is yours, I suppose. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon. Ah, you made it all the way to the end. Well done. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do subscribe by clicking the little fellow over on this side of the screen. You might also want to check out the other videos should be just there. Check out my website as well, androidandy.uk, made by me. I'm learning HTML and PHP, so hopefully it's uh, functional. But I'll see you again in the next video.